Hi everyone, this is the card we're going to do today and it's a beautiful card, it's got a nice space for writing on and you'll see on the next one that we do we've got another panel that we're putting in here but this I will show you the two together and you can decide which you prefer. So the first thing that we're going to do is to score our paper uh, with it landscape 5, 10, 15, 20. Now this is normal A4 but I have taken one centimetre off the bottom. So now we're ready to score and we're going to score 5, 10, 15, 20. I end up with a larger panel on this end which will be our writing panel. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. And now I need to measure five centimetres. I'm working on the smaller panels here and between one, um, one and three, I need just mark five centimetres and then I mark 15. So it's five centimetres down, five centimetres up. Now I can draw a line between the two pieces um, or I can go straight in with the knife. So between the first score line, score line and the third one, okay, we're going to line up and we're going to cut through. Just going to make sure that's to the line. And this one. There weren't fireworks when I started the video. Right, so I've got my lines cut now. So we go into the big panel. We're going to fold the big panel forward. bone folder has disappeared. Then we're going to fold on back on the next one and back again on the first one. Okay. So then this one here, the top part, I want to push back this piece I want to pull forward and the last piece push back. So there is a basic fold of our card. Don't worry about this bit poking over a fraction. We'll deal with that. So there is my basic fold card. When it stands up, it's like that. So I have already prepared some of my panels um, to save on time. Okay, so I'm doing this one with a nautical theme and I'll give you the measurements in a minute for the panels. I'll put them up here then you can watch as they come together. So, um, I had some wet glue. This is a nice wet glue, it's called 3-in-1 and it does give you a fraction of, an in of a minute to wiggle it. So, there we go. And this time I'm coming right out to the edge of this one because if you remember when we folded this, it stuck out a fraction. So I'm just easing that out to 
take up some of that. It's only a minute bit down here. Right, so then I've got some panels. I need, it's got writing on it, so I need to be very careful that the writing is up the right way. And I'm going to put my first panel on. Yeah. Then I've got this panel here. Just checking again that it's the right way up. Now I have got some smaller panels right so we've got nine by nineteen and a half four and a half by nineteen and a half four and a half by nineteen and a half which are those three panels that are all in place now each of these four small ones are four and a half by four and a half so I'll make sure my seagulls are flying the right way and we're going to go one, it's flying that way, two, it's flying that way. I've put um, a border that way. I've put a border around mine, but it looks nice um, if you just do a pretty uh, picture and don't put the border around so you've got white. Works equally well. Right, so I've got now two panels, nine by nine, and this first one is going on the front, on that front panel. So that is going to fit on there. By adjusting the one centimetre um, piece, you won't have this white showing. So taking the bottom off you'll lose that. Right, the next one we're going on to this panel which overlaps this one. So this one overlaps the first one, this one overlaps the second. And I'm going to line those up there. Right, so not. When we fold it, that is what you will see on your card, and when it's open, then you get the full display there. So, our decoration is going to be one of these decoupage sheets, and I'm just going to take bits out of each one. So. I think for my main picture, I'm going to pop this one out, and that is going on the front there. Catch all the little bits. So there is my picture there, and I've got the seagull here balanced with a seagull there. I'm going to then put, I think, this one here, which is going to be the beach hut and the ship. You can put as much on or as little as you like. Now, I need some smaller pieces, so 
so I think I'm going to take the anchor here now the anchor's got a couple of bits that need to come out and what I'm going to do now because I want some smaller elements I'm just going to snip that apart because I want to decorate up some of these little panels that's my anchor up there and I'm going to put the compass here I'm looking for north that's that's north so I think I'm going to go on to there and I don't have a seagull flying so let's see I have another another anchor here another anchor here um, so I think I think I'm going to have the anchor down the bottom apart um, so it's a bit different to that one and that's going on there so there is my card I'll close it likely because the, ink, the glue's still wet so there is my pretty card so you can leave this one blank if you wish to put a greeting but you've got this panel here that you can do, use for writing on as well because when you close it it's completely hidden until somebody opens it so there it goes there's that one we'll bring back this one because I want to show you the difference um, on this one we've got a big panel down both but I've put an extra small panel here which would be there so it's up to you if you want to put a bit more um, fancy paper in that's fine do it on that panel you really do need a proper panel on this front because that is the front of your card okay always check what is visible when you close your card so this one I've got these two nice pictures taking the um, design right the way through okay let's have a look at that one close it up and that one we've just got the panel but you can see a little bit of the anchor there and I've got one more sample for you, which is a Christmas one. Okay, so we've got <coughs> warm, warm winter wishes and the nice um, lights and things. It's very, very pale and um, a bit more modern, I guess. So we've got Believe in the Magic at Christmas. A little owl sat here amongst the leaves and this panel here was replicated down this side so it was a mirror image without the wording okay I've used um, a little matching paper to go up there and when you close it up you've got the two lots of fern at the bottom and then your um, your message in the middle and you could easily just put a couple of corners if you wanted to but I wanted to keep it quite plain so there is your fold for this week have a go see what you can do and play around with pretty papers and things because you don't really need too much decoration on there to make it a beautiful card okay so happy crafting and I'd love to see 
what you make with the idea. God bless.